All right, so now that the page layouts are created, let's log in with the support manager user and see how things look like for this guy, right? So what I've done is I've opened the Salesforce console on another tab and this is the user right here, the support manager user and I should be able to log in as the system administrator to this particular profile. Now, how do we do that? Simply on the quick find box, you can type in login access policies and under login access policies, you'll get an option that says administrators can log in as, as any user. So you just need to enable this. Once you have this enabled, you will be able to log in as any user in the system, right? So let's click on this login button here and let's log in as the support manager profile guy, right? So we are logged in as the support manager guy right here. But what we see is that the say the console that's opening up is in the classic mode. This is not the lightning view, right? So that's the first thing that we need to rectify. So any and every permission that we have given to the profile needs some tweaks and changes to ensure that everything looks neat and clean and it's in place for the user to leverage and use the COVID count application or rather the COVID tracker application, right? So first of all, let's ensure that the so support manager guy is a lightning user. Now, how do we do that? Now, remember, I'll be switching back and forth to the system administrator view and the support manager view, right? Like this. So just uh, bear with me for some time and uh, we should be good with this. Also, if you want to modify or make, make changes to any permissions or you know profile related changes, the support manager profile, the support manager user cannot do it himself. Only the system administrator can do things like this, right? That is why I'll be making changes from the system administrator profile right here with the user that I'm logged into and we'll be seeing the changes being reflected to the support manager user, right? So which user are we concerned with right now? That's the support manager user. Let's go to the support manager profile. And first of all, let's see why is this user not getting access to the lightning experience and instead it's logged in as a classic one. So if I simply type in lightning here or lightning experience, you'll see that there are some checkboxes or permissions that's a, that, that come up here. One that says report builder. I don't think that's a, something of a, our concern right now. And then there's Salesforce anywhere. Even this does not look relevant to us for now. And then there's the lightning experience user checkbox, right? So this is the permission that ensures that you have the lightning experience enabled. Now, once I check this and click on save, and now let's go back to this guy and let's refresh this page. So you see the experience is turned into lightning experience, right? And by default, the COVID tracker application is popping up. The contacts tab is being shown. We don't see the COVID counts tab, which is interesting. And if I click on the app launcher button, Okay, I see a good chunk of applications apart from the COVID tracker, right? But we, we want to have a focused view and we want we want to ensure that the support manager guy only has access to the COVID tracker application right here, right? So how do we change this permission? We go back to the profile and we edit the app settings, right? So we can click on edit here and under the app settings, the custom app settings, oh shoot, under the custom app settings, we can just remove the permissions for these, these kind of applications that we don't want access to. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Mark this as the default one and remove the sales application. Click on save. So once I do that, let's go back and refresh. And I still can see the COVID tracker application and alongside that, so you see, under the application section, I can just see the COVID tracker, which is good enough, right? The next issue that we have is that we are able to see the contact object, but we are not able to see the COVID count tab. Right. So the COVID count tab is not visible, which means that we, are, we won't be able to create any COVID count related records. Right. But we want the support manager to look at the COVID count tab and be able to create records. So there's again some sort of permission that's that's hindering or, you know, blocking the access to the COVID count object. Let's see what that is. So, like I said, for system administrators or standard profiles, Salesforce does everything for them. For anything that we create from scratch, we'll have to take care of it from start to end. Right? So this is the support manager profile and this is something that we created, right? So if I were to just compare two profiles in front of you, let's duplicate this and let's open the system administrator profile as well. Let's go back to profiles and let's open the system administrator profile. Right? So here if you see and if I scroll down to a specific setting, that's for the object permissions. So you see there's something called standard object permissions and then there's something called custom object permissions, right? Now, what are these permissions? These permissions are nothing but read, create, edit, delete. These are the four permissions, right? These are the CRUD operations that happen. C-R-U-D, create, read, update, delete, 
right so if you see the system administrator guy has been given permission to do any and everything for all objects in the system right everything is checked here right and same for the custom object as well the covid count object so when we created the object the system admin guy got access to the read create edit and delete, delete permissions automatically but if i take you back to the support manager profile and let's go to the custom object permissions you'll see that the permissions are missing here now read create edit delete what are these permissions about the read permission says that if you have this permission you will be able to view records you will be able to view covid count records right if you have the create permission you'll be able to view the records as well as create new records right the third third permission is edit now if you have a record that's created and if you want to modify or update any specific field or attribute the edit permission lets you lets you do that and what's the delete it's, it's fairly forward uh, straightforward you can delete the record right so these are the permissions that that are missing and which is why logged in as the support manager guy we are not able to see the tab at all because we don't have access to even read it so let's go back here let's edit this profile and let's give the relevant permissions let's click on edit here let's scroll down right to the section where this where it says custom object permissions and here let's give it read create edit permissions all right and let's click on save so the object permissions have been given let's see if this this suffices our use case and yes we are able to see the covid count tab now right we are able to see this item because we have given the read read permission to the profile if you don't have the permissions on the profile level you don't have access to things right so if you see profile is that entire collection or uh, umbrella that holds all the permissions that based on which users can take action and do actions and you know perform activities in the crm space all right and now if i am on the covid count space and if i click on new i will be able to create records with these fields right so i'm getting these four fields here right and i can just fill in values and if you see comments is read only remember we made comments is read only which is why i'm not able to see it and there were two fields that we removed from the covid count layout which is why we don't see those two fields as well the day category and the checkbox that we had at the end right so if i just go ahead and enter some information and see if i can fill this information and save a record let's see what happens so if you see we marked entry date as a required field in our last lecture so it's, it's asking us to complete this field that's a standard validation rule that's running if we type in a field the value and now click on save so our record is getting saved right and you are able to see everything you have the pencil icons here wherever it is necessary but since comments is a read only field you you don't get to see you don't get to edit it right and what are the permissions that we provided to the uh, object on the profile level we gave read create and edit so you you are able to read records you are able to view records you are also able to create records now let's look at the edit scenario let's click on edit and see if we can modify records let's click on save so we are able to modify records also right what about delete did we give the delete permission no we did not so which is why you don't see the button up coming up here you don't have the button because you don't have the permission on the other hand if you see i am logged in as the system administrator guy this guy has the delete button and has the capability to delete right make sense all right great